In our ever-evolving understanding of the universe, an intriguing question often arises. What if the mind is not confined to the brain but extends beyond our physical bodies, interacting with the environment around us? This notion challenges the traditional boundaries of science and spirituality, suggesting that the mind, much like electromagnetic fields, creates an invisible web of energy connecting all things in the universe. Imagine a field of energy that transcends physical limits, influencing not only our perception, but also the very fabric of reality. For years, the mind was considered merely a function of the brain, but emerging theories are beginning to challenge this view. Just as magnetic fields extend beyond the confines of magnets, our minds may project an energy field that extends beyond our bodies. This expanded view of consciousness suggests that our thoughts and intentions might have the power to shape our reality in subtle yet profound ways. Rupert Sheldrake, a biologist and researcher, is at the forefront of a groundbreaking concept that challenges conventional views of the mind. He posits that the mind extends beyond the brain, influencing the environment through an energy field akin to a radio transmitter. This field, Sheldrake suggests, is responsible for phenomena such as the sensation of being watched, where individuals can sense another's gaze without visual confirmation. This implies that our minds project an energy field that interacts with others, extending our consciousness beyond our physical bodies. Sheldrake's theory of morphic fields further expands on this idea. He proposes that the form and behavior of organisms are guided by invisible fields that transcend space and time, containing a collective memory accumulated over generations. These morphic fields, or morphic resonance, allow for a form of communication and information sharing that surpasses traditional methods. Each species has its own morphic field, which influences development and behavior, ensuring that information is passed down and shared across generations. This collective memory can explain rapid learning and the spread of behaviors within a species, highlighting a profound interconnectedness among living beings that challenges traditional scientific perspective. The concept of morphic resonance is evident in various phenomena of learning and the rapid transmission of behaviors across different populations. One compelling example is seen in the behavior of macaque monkey in Japan. In the 1950s, a young macaque named Emo began washing sweet potatoes in a stream to clean off the sand. This behavior quickly spread among her peers and eventually across the entire troop, even reaching other troops on neighboring islands, despite there being no direct interaction between them. This suggests a form of collective memory or morphic resonance at work. Another fascinating example is found in human behavior. The phenomenon of simultaneous scientific discoveries known as multiple discovery illustrates this concept. Instances like the independent development of calculus by Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, or the formulation of the theory of evolution by Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, occurred independently, yet almost simultaneously. These instances imply that knowledge and ideas can emerge collectively within a morphic field, allowing breakthroughs to occur in different locations without direct communication. These examples underscore the interconnectedness of living beings, suggesting that behaviors and knowledge can spread rapidly through a shared field of information. This concept challenges traditional views of isolated learning and highlights the potential for a collective memory that transcends individual experience. The idea of invisible fields influencing reality is not new. In the 19th century, Michael Faraday introduced the concept of electric and magnetic fields, demonstrating that these forces operate at a distance without direct physical contact. Later, Einstein expanded on this with his theory of general relativity, describing gravitational fields that affect objects across space. Sheldrake takes these ideas further, suggesting that our minds operate in a similar manner. Just as magnetic fields extend beyond magnets and gravitational fields beyond planets, Mental fields extend beyond the brain, interacting with the environment and potentially influencing other minds. This perspective opens up new possibilities for understanding the interconnectedness of the universe. Understanding that our minds can influence the world around us opens up numerous possibilities for improving our lives. One practical application is the projection of positive intention. 
By focusing our thoughts and intentions on healing, we could potentially enhance both mental and physical health. This concept has roots in Franz Mesmer's 18th century theory of animal magnetism, which posited that an invisible field of energy flows between living beings. Mesmer believed this field could be manipulated to restore health, an idea that, despite initial skepticism, laid the groundwork for future exploration of energy field. Modern studies by researchers like Rupert Sheldrake offer support for these ideas. For instance, the phenomenon known as scopiesthesia, where individuals sense they are being watched, suggests that our mental energy fields project outward and can detect the attention of others. This implies that our minds are not limited to our physical bodies, but extend into the surrounding environment, interacting with it in subtle ways. Visual perception, one of the most intricate processes of the human mind, involves more than the mere intake of images through the eyes. The widely accepted intermission theory posits that light enters the eyes, and the brain processes these signals to form images. However, this theory does not entirely explain why we perceive the world as external to us, rather than inside our heads. The extramission theory, which dates back to ancient Greek philosophers, suggests that the mind projects images outward, aligning our perception with the actual location of objects. This theory finds support in various psychological and developmental observations. For instance, studies on blind individuals who gain sight later in life reveal that their brains must learn to project visual experiences outward to make sense of their surroundings. This process indicates that visual perception involves more than just processing incoming data. It also requires an outward projection of mental images. Another compelling example comes from experiments with virtual reality. When participants in virtual environments see objects, their minds often react as if these objects are physically present, even though they know the experience is simulated. This reaction suggests that the mind can project perceptions into a constructed reality, reinforcing the idea that our consciousness interacts dynamically with our environment. Furthermore, the phenomenon of phantom limb sensation where amputees feel sensations in limbs that are no longer there, illustrates how the mind can project sensory experiences beyond the physical body. These examples support the notion that our visual and sensory perceptions are not confined to our brains, but extend outward, engaging directly with the world around us. Traditionally, consciousness has been seen as merely a byproduct of brain activity, limited to the confines of our physical bodies. However, the notion that the mind extends beyond the brain offers a transformative perspective. Consciousness may directly interact with the physical world. This expanded view implies that our thoughts and emotions have the power to influence not only our own well-being, but also the people and objects around us. Recognizing this potential opens up revolutionary possibilities for practices like meditation and mindfulness. These practices traditionally focused on inward reflection and mental clarity, but evolved to include techniques for projecting intentions outward, thereby directly influencing reality. By harnessing the power of our extended minds, we could potentially manifest positive outcomes in our lives and the world around us. Moreover, psychic abilities such as telepathy, remote viewing, and remote healing could be reinterpreted as natural extensions of human potential rather than fringe or paranormal phenomena. For example, the success of remote healing practices, where healers send positive energy to individuals at a distance, could be understood through the lens of an extended consciousness that transcends physical limitations. Embracing this holistic understanding of consciousness also fosters a deeper sense of interconnectedness. It suggests that our individual thoughts and actions are part of a larger collective consciousness shapes our shared reality. This perspective encourages a more cooperative and compassionate approach to global challenges, promoting a vision of a world where collective mental efforts can lead to significant positive change. Accepting the expanded mind as a reality could transform our approach to global issues. Problems such as world peace, social justice, and environmental sustainability could be addressed through the lens of mental interconnectedness. Recognizing that our thoughts and intentions can influence the world, we could work collectively to create a more harmonious and balanced reality.
This innovative perspective enriches our understanding of the universe and provides tools to live more consciously and intentionally. By seeing the world as an interconnected field of energy and consciousness, we begin to realize the true potential of our minds. What if the reality we perceive is just the tip of the iceberg? If our thoughts and intentions can shape the world around us, the possibilities for human potential are limitless.